friends welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do an updated what i have on all of my plots video i really like to do these videos every couple of months or so this kind of helps you guys to come up with video suggestions for me because you can see what plots i have to use for videos and it's also a nice way to look back and see what plots i used to have because i have deleted a few plots since the last time i did this so it's a nice way for me to be able to go back every now and then and watch these videos and see all of the plots i've ever had so i think i still have 15 plots i don't think i bought any more since last time I did this video however I have deleted some of the plots since then and built new things on them so there's a few different plots in here that weren't in the last video I think because I build so often these change like so quickly like that other video was only two months ago now and there's already so many different builds since then so it's really fun just to kind of look back and see what I used to have so here we are on the Bloxburg home screen and we're going to dive straight in with plot number one. So plot number one is the original Barbie's dream house. This is the first thing I ever built on this channel and I remember last time I did this video I said I would never delete this house but things have changed quite a bit since then. I've recently started rebuilding this house bigger and better than ever before so I think eventually I will delete this plot for fun so that I could build something else on here. But at the moment I've still kept the original dream house. I do really love this plot and I I love revisiting it but like I say one day I probably will get rid of it but that is plot number one at the moment. Plot number two is one of my favourite and most creative builds is my builder bear I absolutely love this build and I think it's one of the first builds where I really got creative with making my own decals. I think it's super adorable inside it is quite a small build but it's really fun to role play in. I remember a little while ago I brought Pookie here and it was so much fun to bring her here and it's just a really really cute little plot. I tried to get really creative and make it as really realistic as possible so we have like a section where you'd gather the toy we have like a stuffing section we have like a naming section and then a section for clothes basically just like a real builder bear and I really really love this plot plot number three is my biggest and most expensive build that I've ever made this is my town so I started this town in around December 2018 and I didn't finish it completely until June 2019 so it took me a very long time to build however since then I have I've gone back in and changed things again but it took me such a long time to build it's super expensive it cost around 1.1 million to make this plot but it's one of my favorite plots it's super fun to role play and it is a little bit laggy and takes forever to load in but it's totally worth it it's super adorable and it's another one of those plots where I'm like I don't think I'd ever delete it unless I remade a new town bigger and better to replace it so at the moment plot number three is my town so plot number four is a newer build and I really really love this build this is a build I made for Halloween this year and it's this haunted mansion build I love how this build turned out I think it's super creepy super spooky but still kind of a nice house as well when you look at it like it's a very nice kind of designed house a lot of people have been telling me that I should renovate this house and make it look quite pretty and show you what it would have looked before it was haunted well, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet. I do really, really like it as a haunted house. So as much as I think it'd be really, really fun to kind of renovate it and make it into a, like a nice house, I kind of don't want to lose it yet either. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. You guys should let me know down in the comments whether you want me to do that. But at the moment, plot number four is my haunted mansion. Plot number five is another super creative build that I love. This is my soft play build. I built this quite a while ago I don't know how long ago now maybe towards the start of this year I really really love how it's turned out it's another build that's super fun to role play in and it's also a build I love to load up when I'm playing with subscribers because it's just a fun build to play about in but I wanted it to be like a super realistic like soft play like when I was little you used to have a soft play where it had like a restaurant area and then it also had like the play area and then upstairs we have a party area for like children's birthday parties I just think it's a super cute build and it's just really really fun I love bringing Pookie here but yeah I really really love this plot so that is plot number five. Plot number six is another newer build this is my campsite build this is probably like my second biggest build after the town this build again took a little while to make but I love how it turned out it is one of my favorite builds of all time I just think it's super pretty I love how outdoorsy and naturey it is like that isn't usually my vibe with builds I kind of do quite pastely builds so this is a lot different from what I usually build but I really love how it turned out. I think it's super realistic for a campsite. Another build that's really, really fun to role play in and just another build that's really, really fun to play with subscribers in as well because it's so big. Like you can have a huge game of hide and seek in here. Like it'd be so much fun. But I really, really love how this build turned out. 
definitely up there within like my top three I think of all my builds. Plot number seven is another plot that I'd say is in my top three of my builds. This is a doll's house I made quite recently. It was based off of a doll's house in my daughter Pookie's bedroom in our family home and I wanted to build it like life size for her to play in. I really really love how this build turned out. The decals are one of my favourite decals I've ever made because I tried to make them look super realistic to a doll's house so they have like fake furniture on there and I just think they're super adorable. This whole build is cute and pastel, totally up my alley. I just love how it turned out. It's so much fun for role playing in except for the fact that people can easily break into your house because it doesn't have a front to it. But it's definitely one of my favourites, it's one of your guys favourites as well, like you loved this video when I posted it even though YouTube briefly deleted the video for some strange reason. And whenever I have this plot loaded up in game people always compliment it and say how amazing it is and they know it's a doll's house straight away just looking at it like it's one of those amazing builds where it actually looks like what it's supposed to look like so I was so happy with this build when I made it. I definitely think I'll keep this one, I don't think I'll ever delete it. I just really really love this plot. plot number Number eight is my lakeside family home. This is a family home I made that I really really love. I don't use it for anything, it's not like our family home but it was just one of those builds that I did where I thought the house was so nice that I wasn't ready to delete it but it's one of those plots that I will eventually delete to build something more interesting on there like the campsite and doll's house and stuff like a proper build. I, re I don't really keep houses unless I'm using them so eventually I will replace this with something else. At the moment it's this beautiful family home. I really love the colour scheme of this house. It was like the first house I built in kind of a newer style for me like I changed my style a bit when building this and I just really love how it looks. I think it's super realistic, very cute and it's just definitely a favourite. So plot number nine I think I'm on is the tips and tricks house. This is a house I built to give you guys tips and tricks on how to build exteriors of houses. I was supposed to do the interior at the time but I never got around to doing it. I mean I could still do it if you guys would want to see that but I think I'd rather rebuild this house again using some of the newer furniture that we have and then maybe do the inside from there because like I used fences for like the wall trims and the, I didn't have the newer doors and stuff then so I think it'd be quite nice to remake this with the new stuff and it would probably look a whole lot better but if you guys do ever want to see the inside of this I'll try to do it eventually. I've just not got round to it yet. Plot number 10 is the brand new dream house which I'm currently working on. It isn't finished yet, I've only done the downstairs and the outside. I already love how this plot has turned out. The layout is definitely way better than the original dream house. I've gotten way better at kind of planning where rooms go so I feel like the dream house is a little bit awkward before like the rooms just kind of randomly placed like they didn't work together very well so this new layout works together much better. It's more like realistic house, like, like not realistic because it's the Barbie's dream house but the like floor plan's more realistic to like what an actual house would look like on the inside than the original Barbie's dream house and yeah I just really really love how it's looking so far. I'm super excited to finish this plot and see what it will look like so yeah you should stick around and watch this series if you do want to see what this plot is going to look like in the end. Plot number 11 is just basically an empty plot. I was planning on starting a new town on this plot which is why I have this tiny little bit of like um, a plot for where a building was going to go but obviously I didn't do very much of that so this is pretty much an empty plot um, that I'll use for a build eventually. It's the only empty plot I have at the moment. I feel like every time I've done this video before I had quite a few empty plots but this time around I only have the one so that is my only empty plot. Plot number 12 is my most recent build. This is my Christmas cottage. I love how this little build turned out. I think it's so cute, so festive. I'm loving doing Christmas builds at the moment so I definitely love this build. It's the only Christmas build I've kept so far. I mean apart from the little um hot chocolate truck which will come to soon but this is the only like proper Christmas build that I've kept. I didn't keep the gingerbread houses but I really really like this build. I don't know how long I'll keep it for. Maybe me and Boogie will do a role play in it and we'll have like a little cute Christmas holiday. At the moment I just have my Christmas cottage on plot number 12. Plot number 13 is another house build that I've kept. I probably won't keep this forever like I said with the other house but I do really really like how it turned out. This was the house I did in the video where I worked for an hour and then built a house using that money. I absolutely loved how the plot turned out. I think it's so cute. I love the colour scheme. It was definitely a little bit more closer to 
summer than we are right now when I made this because it's very bright and colourful compared to some of my more recent builds but I really love it I just think it's really really cute and that's why I've kept it at the moment my friend Ashley absolutely loves this house and she's recently rebuilt it for herself and it looks so adorable so I'm keeping it for the time being but it's another one of those plots where eventually I will delete it for the funds and build something else on there. Plot number 14 is my mini build plot this is a series I've been doing on the channel where I do some mini builds most of the times I've been trucks so we have like a moving truck we have a candy floss truck we have a flower truck and then the hot chocolate truck which is the most recent mini build I just think they're really fun they're really good for when I have like a, a building block and I don't know what to make to make just a tiny little build to get me back into it is really fun and I've really been loving doing this mini series and last but not least plot number 15 is our family home I love this house this is definitely my favorite house I've ever made you guys really love this house it's from a series I made on my channel called let's build a house together which I love the house so much that I decided to make it mine and Pookie's family home and I just really really do love how this house looks I think it's super adorable my favorite part of it is Pookie's bedroom because it's so cute but I also love like the kitchen I love the garden it's just a really really nice family home and I've seen so many people rebuild this and it's been so fun to go in and look and see how you guys have changed this up to make it more your own but so many people love this house as much as I did and it's definitely a favorite I don't think I'm gonna replace this I think this is just gonna be mine and Pookie's family home just going forward unless I have some kind of brainwave where I want to make us a huge mansion or something but at the moment I do really love this house being our family home. So that is all 15 of the plots. I do really love all of these plots I've kept. Um, like I say there is a few that eventually I will delete so maybe next time I do this video those plots will be gone and I will have something new in those places but at the moment these are the 15 plots that I have so if you do have any video suggestions like I said these are the plots that I currently have and you can suggest videos that I can do on these plots thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video guys please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and as always a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah.